Sometimes you have to go a little further to get the real thing. We're three weeks in production here. Today we're going to be doing a citrus gin. We're going for a bold expression, see if we can get just that right flavor. It looks pretty sophisticated what's going on here. We have grapefruits, oranges, lemons, and we're just going to zest them up and run them through the still. That's going to be really the base of our citrus gin. And then the other gin we have is the peppercorn gin. So we've got telecherry peppercorns straight from India. Is that uh, open? It is. Take a smell. Wow. We're going to actually run just a grapefruit and then taste what that does to our product. This is all the fun about making something is you get to try and try until you like it. So you're not making this for anybody particular, you're making it for yourself, am I right? We're experimenting right now. Yeah, yeah this won't go into any of our bottles until we get it right. Why do you decide to get into the booze business? It was just a natural yeah. extension, extension after over. you started drinking, you want to do some. Well, else. there was that for sure, but, but brewing beer. It's really the same process. Me and Lindsay have enjoyed brewing beer for years. And yeah, well, bringing... not a lot of people know that you actually distill beer. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's a natural progression for brewers to go into distilling. And beer is good for you. I think, yeah, I believe beer is very good for you. We get the fun part. We get to play around with all these botanicals and really change our product and just get it right. Like I'm, this is, this is a great day. Gin day is a great day.